Ottawa 0 for 1 in the power play, did not get a shot on goal during their one and only man advantage. Wirkosh plays it across. Here's Carlson. Carlson up into the corner, and another penalty coming up against and that was Montreal. Mark Markov and Carlson. Stone going right off, and that could be significant. He's looking at a five on three, and he leaves the building in a hurry. And it's going to be P.K. Subban who's going to get the penalty for a slash. He's out of the game. Is he pointing? He's out of the game. P.K. Subban is gone. A five minute major. Five minute major for a slash? Off the face off, Stone coming in and. Uh, oh, that's a penalty for sure, and it's a bad one, but. Chokes up on the stick to swing a little bit, but that's not as hard as a game misconduct needs to be in the playoffs. You have to get this right. Now it looks bad there, but that is not a violent. And he can't believe a penalty, forget about the five. Penalty, absolutely five. I'm not so sure, but you'd like to see them get together and make sure to get this right. A different referee, Dave Jackson, had a different view of it. A strong punishment for a pretty, as far as playoff hockey goes, one of the most slash. Dignity pour Ides. Au Canadien, le numéro 76, PK Subban, 5 minutes pour. Coup de bâton et inconduite de partie à 8 minutes 23 secondes. Well, the penalties to the Senators number 7, Kyle Turris, 2 minutes for roughing. To the Canadians number 76, P.K. Subban, 5 minutes for slashing in a game misconduct at 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Cool. Turris gets the roughing for the altercation after the slash. The referee, Steve Kazari, makes the initial call on P.K. Subban, and that is a huge moment in this game but the two minute penalty to Kyle Torres will negate the five on three it'll be four on three and then five on four so the Canadians get a break in the specialty teams scenario anyways